Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today, I'm back with a new video to teach you guys how you can change images on Hover with HTML and CSS. It's very simple and easy. I hope you guys would like this video. So, let's start then. I am on Windows machine and for this video, I'll be using VS Code editor. But you may use any editor of your choice. So, first, we are going to create a folder in the desktop. I'll name the folder Project. Now, to open this folder in VS Code Editor, just drag the folder and drop on VS Editor Studio icon, just like this. The folder is completely empty right now. So first, we have to create our HTML and CSS file. To create a new file, just click on this icon and write the file name index.html. Now, the CSS file style.css. Okay, let's first create our markup. Before that, we can open this file on Google Chrome web browser. Just double tap on the file and it will open in Google Chrome web browser. Now, I will minimize the screen and keep both in parallel. Let's just make the editor screen a bit bigger. One last thing. Let's just bring in the images that we will be using in this project. I have already downloaded two images for this purpose. Let's just copy them from here and paste them here. Now, we can start our coding. In VS Code, we can use a shortcut that's exclamatory mark and press the tab from your keyboard. This gives us a basic HTML boilerplate. Fine. Now, let's link the CSS file. We can use another shortcut by writing link clone CSS and press the tab from your keyboard again. Now I'll save the file with Ctrl S, but if you are using Mac, press Command S. To make sure it is connected properly, press Ctrl and click on the link. See if it takes you to the file or not. Okay, it's connected properly. Let's first create the markup. Now, first of all, we'll take a deep tag right inside the body tag and give it a class of TC container. Now, finally, once again, press the tab key. You can see deep class with TC container class is created. Now, inside the deep tag, we will insert our two images. So, we will have to write a code, and that code is left angle bracket IMZ and SRC equation sign double quotation ALT the equation sign double quotation and forward slash and right angle bracket. This is the code. Okay, the images are in the same directory. Here you can see the images and the HTML and CSS files are side by side. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to just write the image names. But if you keep the images in another directory, in that case, you will have to add the directory name. Okay, let's see. We can write the file name directory here. 
we can write the file name we can write the image names directly here don't forget to write the file extension if you do a mistake then it will not work we will need both images so let's bring in the second image and let's save the file with control s okay for the second image we will give it an additional class of css and that's top hyphen image that means this image will be placed top let's save the file and reload this page to see preview we can see this image so with this our html part is complete now pretty simple isn't it so let's go to the styling part now here i'm on the css file and let's first add some primary styling margin 0 for all tags padding 0 for all tags box sizing border box we can also add a background color to the body let's give it a mild color also i want the content to be centered so let's set display to flat justify content to center and align item to center now let's save the page with control s and reload this page to see the result let's maximize the tab to see if it is working properly or not hit refresh reload this page so it's working properly let's minimize the tab again this time we have to specify the width and height of the parent container the class given to the container is tc container let's give it a width of 500 pixel and height of 700 pixel and let's set image size to 100 percent for that we can say tc container image inside with 100 percent and height 100 percent let's save the file refresh this page and see the result now we can add a bit of space to container from the top margin top 40 pixel is enough let's save the file and see the results okay this looks fine so now to create the hover effect we need to place one image on top of another image so we'll have to set its position to absolute but before doing that we need to set position relative to the parent container so we first set the position of tc container to relative now we can target top image now we can set top image position to absolute let's save this and reload this page let's maximize the page to see what happened so now the other image has come side away but we want the image to be on top of this image so we can set left to zero 
and top to zero. Save the file and reload the page. Now this image is exactly on top of other image. To create the hover effect, we will set the opacity to zero. Save the file. This makes the image completely invisible. We can see that by saving the file and reloading the page. So, when somebody hovers on this image, we want opacity to be on that makes completely visible. Now, to create the hover effect, we want the opacity to be on again so that this changes the image. So, I'm setting the opacity to on on hover and saving the file. Now, let's save the file and reload this page to see the result. Okay, on hover, the image is actually changing, but the problem is it happening very fast. It's almost flashing. We can add a bit of transition to the image to make it smooth. So let's add transition to the image. Transition all point seven is is save the file and see the result. Now it's changing very smoothly. The transition is now smooth and perfect. So now you can implement this on your next project. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again.